Welcome to the Hillbilly RV channel. Today, we're in beautiful Lake Stevens. It's a county park here in Southern West Virginia. Been here about as long as the Hillbilly's been here. Uh, it's a really nice park and uh, has a lot of long-term camping and some short-term stuff, but uh, that's enough of that. Uh, let's get started today. We're working on this uh, patio awning up here. Um, this is a fifth wheel. It is a Phylon sided camper and you know they're uh, when they build these campers and their infinite wisdom you know this Luan or this Phylon is an eighth about an eighth about an eighth of an inch thick the the Luan behind it is about an eighth of an inch thick so you get a quarter inch of material there and they just shoot screws in that awning rail and they think it's going to hold Sometimes it does, most of the time it does. Sometime it doesn't. Um, as you can see, the rail is pulling away from the side of the camper. So what I'm gonna do today, I've done it many times before, I've done videos on it before, So I'm gonna use what they call a split rivet. Um, these are in my Amazon store. Be sure and go check that out. You can go to my website, go to the Amazon store, or there's a link down below to my Amazon store. Um, these hold really good in fiberglass because when they expand, I mean, they, they get really big. So uh, we're going to uh, go up, clean off best we can, clean off the old putty tape or butyl or whatever's behind the awning rail, put some new, put some rivets. Um, it's mainly the ends. And I may even go to the other end and put a couple rivets, take whatever screws they got in or out. Put a couple rivets uh, i even saw um, the same things going on with a slide topper on the other side but uh yeah it's just there's just nothing here to hold hold a screw not very well especially on the ends like i said the middle they'll do all right but the ends it's just too much strain when that awning's out wind gets up or anything like that it puts a lot of pressure on those uh on the ends of that awning rail so let me uh, see if my ladder's steady. Let me go up. I'll try my best to, to uh, zoom y'all in and see if we can get you a shot here. Ooh, man, I'm not tall This thing is tall. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure my ladder's tall enough. My ladder ain't long enough. I can't reach it. I'm gonna have to try and do this from the roof. Lay down on, <clears throat> sure. Lay down on the roof and reach out and reach down and do that. So yeah, that's gonna make it more funner. All right. Will y'all ever have one of them days where you? Seems like nothing goes right. Me and this lady's been trying to get together for like three weeks. Uh, she's not available during the day, and then it's been raining every afternoon, and blah, blah, blah. And this is the first time we've had a chance to, to get together for like probably almost three weeks. And that's too tall. I cannot, I cannot reach it off my eight foot step ladder. Uh, I'd have to be on top of the ladder. I ain't gonna do that. I went up on the roof and uh, tried to see if I could uh, lay down and do it over the side. And uh, that slopes so much there. Old man with vertigo laying down on a slope on a roof is probably not a good idea. I uh, didn't feel comfortable doing that. I have a 12 foot step ladder. <laughs> I'm gonna have to come back another day with a 12 foot step ladder so I can reach that and we'll get that done. So. You know, you just you just have that sometimes. Um, good thing is she's close. Um, just takes me about 20 minutes to get here from my house, and uh, we will come back another day. Uh, but we won't continue this video. We're gonna start all over. So uh, this is just a video for nothing except y'all get to hear me. Um, yeah, we'll be back. Y'all be back. Get down that comment section. Let me know what you would have done in this situation. Uh, 
I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Simple as that. You know what? I do have an idea. I could go get my long lighter and come back. Let me see what she's doing the rest of the day. All right, change plans. I went and got the big one. Let's get this thing done. Try and set y'all up on the roof. I'll set you right on the edge, looking over the edge, so y'all be careful. All right, here we are. Uh, and here's where we're gonna be working. Let's see if I can get y'all set up here. Oh, where y'all looking? Y'all looking in the sky. Let's see if I can get y'all set up here. A little bit, a little precarious up here for you guys. So like I said, y'all, y'all be careful. Alrighty, let's start by trimming this screw cover off here. Get this screw cover, hopefully it's not super brittle. It doesn't break on us here when we try to uh, try to get it out of that awning rail nice. it's good shape it's good shape for the shape it's in let's pull that back no farther than we have to get a drill just lost that Get these screws out that ain't doing nothing. We'll save them because we're going to use one of them when we go back. Put a couple of rivets and then we'll shoot shoot these screws back in a different hole. It's like I say the uh, the uh, it's the ends. I've never seen an awning rail come off in the middle except maybe if the awning fills up full of water, rain water. That's about the only time that will happen. Okay. So I'm going to try and get some of this old putty tape off back here and put some new on. Uh, try and seal it up as good as we can. Good enough. All right. Now I'm gonna take this putty tape. We'll take this putty tape and put it back there, uh, so the screw screw holes will be sealed. Uh, but the putty tape's been keeping you guys on the roof. Let me see. Maybe I can use the drill. Yeah, cause when I hang uh, when I hang that camera over the over the edge of something like this, it, uh, it gets really tippy on my little tripod. So we're gonna put some, just gonna put some putty tape back here. Have to go ahead and peel the paper off in this circumstance because it's, it's hard to do. Hard to do after you stick the putty tape. We're just gonna go down. 
far as it was loose. It was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws it pulled out. I'm gonna put that putty tape back on the tripod. I feel better about that. All right, now we're gonna have to make these holes a little bit larger. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go ahead and shoot a screw in this here so that uh, that awning rail will be held while I'm doing the rest of this stuff. And I can get that awning rail where it belongs to. So I'm just gonna make a new hole in that rail. It's not that hard to do. Those screws are really sharp. Get it about lined up where it used to be. That's really close right there. Okay. Now, in order to use those split rivets, we have to drill those holes out. One, one sixty fourth of an inch bigger than three sixteenths. And if you buy those rivets, I think it says right on the box what size it is that has to be drilled. I just know it's in my drill bit set, it's uh, there by the sixty fourth, and it's one, one drill bit bigger than three sixteenths. You know, I'm going to shoot one more screw here real quick because I need one on that end anyway to hold the screw cover. Um, to hold the screw cover when we get done. So let me shoot one more screw out on this end. It'll help, uh, may help hold that, it may straighten that awning rail up a little bit too. It did. And I'll take that one back out here in a minute. And put the uh, uh, put the uh, screw cover under that. All right, let's drill these holes out. structure in the wall. That one almost felt like it did too. Alright. See how hard these are going to be to squeeze. I'm going to have to go get my big rivet gun. I think these squeeze pretty easy. Pretty hard to do with one hand. So I'm trying to hold on with the other one. Ah, yeah, they're not bad. So I'm just gonna put three or four of them down through here and then shoot a couple of them screws back in there. And we're gonna go over top this with some uh, silicone uh, just to keep the water out. So uh, let me get the rest of these rivets in. I'll be right back. All right, got all the rivets in. Got the uh, got some screws put back in. Now let's uh, get our screw cover put back on. So we're going to use this last screw right here to hold our screw cover. Because they had that tucked in from behind before. I don't really know how they do that. I don't know how they get their last screw in. Anyway, so there's that. Take our putty knife or our pocket knife. In this case, we're just going to use our 
putty knife. Trim any excess putty tape off so it's not sticking above the rail. We'll run a little bit of silicone on top of this rail and uh, that's going to be it. I will take you over and show you that uh, take you over and show that uh, slide topper here in a few minutes. Yeah, this is a done deal. Oh, yeah. I meant to add before, I would have used my extension ladder, but that window was in the wrong place. So I couldn't use my extension ladder. Otherwise, I'd have done it on the first trip. And, uh, oh yeah, I know somebody's gonna say something about it. No, I didn't charge her for that first trip charge because I just didn't know what I was getting into. I didn't realize how tall this thing was. So I went back home, got the ladder, didn't charge her for that first trip charge. Show you this one here real quick. I'm not going to video fixing it because I'm just going to do exactly what we did over a while ago. This one bracket's coming, coming off the side of the camper. Same deal. Uh, now there should be a little bit of structure in here for that bracket. They may have missed it a little bit, but I'm going to put a couple of, uh, uh, I may do all five rivets. I don't know. Probably three. Probably three rivets and leave two screws. Because I think these two screws are pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to do the exact same thing. So if you hang, hung around to the end of this one, thank you. We will catch you on the next one. Y'all have a great day.